You know, when it comes to thinking about breakfast, one dish usually comes to mind, and that's a breakfast burrito. You know, eggs, bacon, sausage, potatoes, etc. Man, those are boring. Let me tell you, these breakfast burritos are not. Prepare to take your taste buds on a journey because this is going to rock your world. I'm not kidding. Now, depending upon what you want on your burrito, for me, I think it always starts right here with an onion. Just cut one up real quick. I love lots of onions on mine. You know, it, it's totally a personal choice whether you want a lot of onions on yours or not. I get it. Let me move these off the side because I love bell peppers. I'm more of a red bell pepper kind of guy versus a green one. I guess these aren't, these aren't as sweet. But I, I think they just have a lot more flavor. Now here's a secret to cutting a bell pepper. Cut it like this, it's gonna be difficult. Cut it like this, look at that, how easy that is. This would be great if you're doing fajitas. And we did this exact same video on our live Friday night. We do a live cook every Friday night. Man, I'm telling you what, delicious. All right, I'm going to cut up one more. Also matters how you hold your knife. So I'm holding my knife, it gives me a lot more control over what I'm cutting. Perfect. Now, these are just gonna go down on the Cuisinart 360. Already got some olive oil on here. At this point, we're just gonna let them kind of do their thing. The onions get a little translucent. Life's gonna be good. Next thing though, I'm going with some, just some breakfast sausage. This is just a country style. And for me, I like to cut up top, cut down through it. Voila, opens right up. Look at that. I'm not putting any olive oil on the other side where our breakfast sausage is going. He shoots his scores. Yeah. Not putting it down there because there's going to be enough oil as it is. Fat grease is going to come off of that breakfast sausage. Our sausage, onions, peppers, they're finishing up at the same time. Great timing on our part, right? Take that sausage. Get it off the Cuisinart. Let it rest for just a little bit. Close enough for government work. Now, that's our sausage. We have here six eggs. Before we do anything with those eggs, I'm gonna take the onions and bell peppers off. By the way, it smells amazing right now. All right, that's what it looks like inside there. You're gonna take these six eggs, you put four eggs, six eggs, 12 eggs, I don't care how many eggs you put in there. Put them in with our onions and peppers. I guess it just depends upon how many onions and peppers you put together. It kind of depends upon how many eggs you're gonna throw into this mix. I think six is gonna be just about right for this. So just gonna stir them all together. And depending upon how long you stir, well, that's up to you. Cuisinart is already heated up though. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna dump it all at once though. I'm gonna do just a little bit at a time. Now, for me, the key is when it comes to cast iron, and this is a cast iron plate, it's no different than a cast iron pan really, is temperature control when it comes to cooking something. Especially when it's like eggs. Like if I were to put these, these on here and this, the top was just super hot. I'm gonna have nothing but a sticky mess on top of here. Right now, it's doing pretty well. Not getting a lot of stick. Got a little bit right there, nothing crazy. But you notice I didn't have to add any other oil here and that's because Cuisinart itself has been used and seasoned so many times. After every use, I season. We're going to the next part, and that is 
we're going to start building our burrito. So I just have two burrito shells here, tortilla shells. I always have more. I can have as many as I wanted on here, but I got two. All right, we're back. Pull the eggs off. They're done. Of course, we have our sausage. This is where it gets kind of crazy because this is almost like popperish, almost. But for me, I like a little bit of cream cheese on what I'm cooking. That's why it's almost, you know, you could almost say this is a popper. Kind of like it may be a burrito popper or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, that's it, you know, that's what you go with. Anyhow, got that. So the next step is I'm going to put some egg down onto this. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but I went towards the back when it came to what I'm putting on here. And that's all because of when I start stacking this. Yeah, when I, it's all because when I start rolling this together, it's going to be a required field for me. I'm going to go with some cheese. I'm just doing four cheese Mexican blend. Throw it on here. Give it a nice, you know, kiss of cheese. Now, here is the key to rolling a burrito. Fold those sides in, fold that back side in, keep folding everything together, voila. And this is the cool part. I just went with meat deli bacon. Not going with anything crazy when it comes to bacon. You could if you wanted to, absolutely, not me. Going meat deli bacon. I like meat deli bacon. It's not super thick, but it's easy to work with, especially with what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to roll this bacon around. I'm going to take a toothpick, stab it in the side, keep everything together. Now, here's the key when I was, <laughs> remember where that toothpick is, because when I did the show on Friday night, Guess what? I forgot where I forgot where two toothpicks were. Kind of paid the price for it too. Especially when I bit down into one of those, like, ooh, that's not cool. I like to keep the toothpicks on the same side though. That way I know, hey, I'm working on this side. If I'm looking for a toothpick, I gotta find it there. Stick that toothpick in. Voila. We're going to do another one. Why? Yeah, why not? Everyone. All right, we're going to put these on the Cuisinart. Listen to that sizzle. It's almost like the Cuisinart is clapping because there's bacon on it. You know, it's been about five minutes. Just want to check that bottom. Yep, that looks amazing. I'm going to give this one a flip. Excellent. Look at that. Already starting to harden here on the sides. Loving that. Cuisinart is on full blast, full heat. What I like to do after I flip is kind of go like this. Same thing with like a burger, because that way it'll kind of prevent it from sticking on the bottom. Well, let's take a look. Number about three. Looks great. Three. Looks pretty good. I think it's close enough. But because this is not your average burrito, I'm to put a little more cheese on top. That's what I'm saying. This thing's like a cardiologist's dream. We give this some steam. Cap it for a moment. It's literally been a minute. I'm liking what I'm seeing, that's for sure. All right, let's take these off. Give them a little rest. All right, you saw us making this bad boy. Now it's time to give it a try, see if it is really worth it. When we do that, ah, let's not forget the fix. Remember, each side had three. There's three. Run my hands down the side there. There's one. There's two. 
Uh oh. There's a third one stuck in this one somewhere. I don't know where. Oh well, guess we'll find it when we do. I want to cut this thing open though. Kind of give you a look at what's going on inside. Very well layered. Look at that. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, that's a beautiful. Look at that. Uh, right? For me, I like salsa on mine. Nobody makes better salsa than this little local company here in town. Cannot think of their name. Oh, there's the other one. Boom, sick. But I get it at the grocery store. Very fresh, very delicious. Hmm. And rocks on this burrito. Man. No, I didn't put salt, pepper. I put nothing on it. It's, it's just perfect. I find lots of times you don't have to, but you really get the bacon, of course. You get a little bit of the sour cream. You get the sausage. You get the salsa. You get everything. Everything just kind of melts together. Very good. Mm. We really got some cream cheese out of that one. Another thing, too, the same company does make ranch dressing. And I actually like ranch dressing on my burrito. Mmm. Mmm. So good. All right, there you have it. Breakfast burrito. Like no other. Take the potatoes out of it if you want. I don't, not a big fan of potatoes in my breakfast burrito, whatever. Wrap it with bacon and cheese. Put some cheese inside, let it melt. Absolutely delicious, super easy to make. I'm rambling, I'll see you on the next video.